everyone, my name is William from SkySiv, and I'm here today to show you the different operations you can perform on your sections. So I'll start by adding an L-beam, and you'll notice that there's a tab available for operations. So you'll notice that you can perform rotations, translations in Z, which is the horizontal axis, translation in Y, which is the vertical axis, mirrors in Z, and mirrors in Y. Now, a quick note about convention. So we define the horizontal axis as the z-axis and the vertical axis as the y-axis. So you'll note that the x-axis is defined into the page. So whenever you perform a rotation, <coughs> you are performing a rotation of something of an axis that is into the page. So if I was to perform a rotation of 30 degrees, you, if you've guessed correctly, this shape will rotate in the clockwise direction if the x-axis is defined positive into the page. You can see that clearly there. Now I can also perform a translation of the z-axis, so if I wanted to move this 50 millimeters to the right, defined as positive, you tab out and it performs that operation for you. Similarly, if I wanted to translate this 100 millimeters in the Y vertical axis, I tab out and it performs that translation for me. Now I'm going to turn off the rotation here for a moment by setting it to zero in order to easily illustrate the concept of mirrors. So mirrors perform their action about the centroid of the object. So for an L beam, the centroid is approximately here. Now, whenever you perform a mirror, it does that about the global axes, so the global z-axis and the global y-axis. So if I was to make this true for the z-axis mirror, you'll notice that it flipped about its own centroid about the global z-axis. Now I'll turn this to false, and if I was to flip this about the Y global axis, it will do it about its own centroid, which is approximately here. So I'm going to click this to be true, and it performs the mirror as so. So with all these operations, you can perform relative positioning of one section to another. However, we'll be going into detail as to how to add multiple shapes to create your section in another video. I hope you've enjoyed this in quick and easy video and I'll see you next time for the next one. Thanks.